What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new action figure news, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like every single day since San Diego Comic-Con, it's just been dry as the Sahara effing desert out here with action figure news, man. WWE action figure news. I actually tweeted, I think, the other day, man, WWE figure news has been super dry since San Diego Comic-Con. And then somebody immediately in the replies was like, well, if WWE action figure news is dry, AEW action figure news is just completely deserted. And it kind of reminds me of that meme, you know, back in the day where it's like the, the parent saving the kid, like drowning or like playing with one on the side, then there's one drowning, and then there's like one at the bottom of the pool or whatever that meme is. Super old, anyways. Today we have brand new AEW action figure news, and if you guys were unaware, they actually did like a little display set up out at all in for AEW, man, and it was pretty cool. I got to see some images and stuff. Now, yesterday I was kind of super busy through the day and actually didn't get to see it live and coverage and stuff like that, so I had to catch up on that and all those things, and I was going to make my video yesterday, but it was way too late, and so today we are here in this morning talking about all the reveals, man, so let's shut the hell up and dive into it. I think we got some pretty interesting stuff. I mean, it wasn't like just ludicrously just freaking San Diego Comic-Con reveals for 30 minutes. It was still, a, you know, it's just decent stuff here. We got some new updates on some stuff, so let's go ahead and break it down, man. Let's start things off with this, and this wasn't even revealed, but it's something I wanted to plug into a video, man. We have the AEW Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive CM Punk figure, and this figure looks great. Now, also, the all-in CM Punk figure, not figure, but the gear that he wore it all in. If that's not a god dang action figure, Brad, I don't know what the hell is. Beautiful gear. The all white was super clean with the white kick pads. Very clean. Very, very clean. And uh, I hope to see some customs of that very, very soon. I might have to get that one made myself. But this Supreme figure looks epic, man. You have this new hoodie in here. And we already knew about this figure. This figure was announced at San Diego Comic Con, but apparently this figure is hitting very soon. And it's not hitting already. This is, this is image. I don't know who the hell posted this. I think it was on eBay or something. I don't even know. Or, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the deal is here, but this is the Supreme Collection. You guys can see it's got the camo trunks. It's got the t-shirt. It's got the head sculpts, title belt, the hoodie. I mean, this thing is looking insane. Love the way it looks mint on card. I, I do have my mint on card Supreme Collection set, and this is going to fit right in there. This looks amazing. I know a lot of people are excited, and we also have, I guess, the Supreme Collection Series 4 coming eventually, but I do like the hoodie. Hopefully, it's not stained the hell out of the figure, and hopefully, the t-shirt doesn't stain and all these different things, but it's a great looking CM Punk Supreme figure. It's going to have the butterfly joints, all the good stuff. But this is definitely probably everybody's favorite CM Punk figure that Jazzwares has made so far. I do like this one a lot. And you do know that the other Supreme Collection does have the clean shorts, I do believe, from, uh, you know, the blood and guts, like the white shorts. I think they are plain white. You know, they're not going to have the, the blood or anything like that. But I love the camo gear. The camo gear is what I'm most excited for in this pack with the hoodie and the accessories. This is great. I, I wanted to talk about this a little bit because I didn't, I didn't want to make a full video on just one figure. So I figured this is a perfect video to throw it in there, talk about the Supreme Collection CM Punk figure. Even though it wasn't shown off this weekend specifically, I still wanted to think about it and say it. Now, moving on to the next figures, man. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We have a look at the upcoming House of Black. We have images here of AEW and Match Series number 8, Brody King, and Series 8, Buddy Matthews. Now, also, AEW Unmatched Series 6, Malachi Black is in here, which we've already touched on. We've talked about it on the channel. We even did a full-fledged review on the channel. So, if you guys wanted to check out AEW Series 6, the Unmatched Collection, Malachi Malachi Black. There it is in all its glory, but the full House of Black here looks really, really cool. Brody King and Buddy Matthews, super toyetic. I mean, all three of these guys are toyetic. They have really unique molds. I'm really digging, at least from here. I can't tell, but it doesn't look like Buddy Matthews is as huge in the torso area, but then again, he kind of looks... I don't know. It doesn't look as big as Aleister Black's. You guys know that Aleister Black or Malachi Black's, his torsos on his AEW figures are absolutely ginormous. But all three of these guys look amazing up next to each other. You guys can see Buddy Matthews there in the plain black. Really unique shorts mold. I love Buddy Matthews. Buddy Murphy, I always loved him when he was in WWE. And then you have Brody King, who I actually met at San Diego Comic-Con. Couldn't grab a photo because they were doing the meet and greet. Got to meet Brody King and Danhausen. So seeing his figure here, can't wait to review that. Very toyetic. Lots of tattoos. You can feel the aura on these guys. I mean, they feel evil. Just look at them. But the Brody King figure is looking good. I like the sights on the knee pad. Tons of tattoo deco. I'm hoping that the tattoos go underneath and it's not just, you know, I hope it doesn't end. I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but it would be cool 
cool, but that is the full House of Black figures. Those guys are looking pretty damn awesome right there. Next up, we did have a look at the Unrivaled 13 Darby Allen and Sting figures. Now, they were on display right here, and the Darby Allen's looking pretty good. I feel like his hair looks so yellow, and may maybe that's accurate, but I just felt like it looks so crazy, and I'm very interested to see what this figure looks like underneath. I think that everything here looks pretty awesome, though. I know it's kind of plain Jane, but we do finally get a screaming head sculpt for our Darby Allen, and I highly doubt he has every tattoo, right? He's not gonna, like, he has, like, a skull tattoo now. He's got, like, all these different tattoos going on. He's like Uso. They're very equal, right? Jay Uso in WWE and Darby Allen for AEW. Their figures are never updated because they keep getting ink, man. That would kind of be like me. I just keep getting ink pieces, and they're like, my God, Brad, can you slow the hell down so we can get these figures accurate? But especially when you have these long lapses in how long it takes these figures to come out. But that is the joy of customization and, you know, the community. But the Darby Allen looks good. I like the he screaming head sculpt and stuff. And then we also have the Sting figure here. And one thing you'll see in the background is it looks like that is the AEW Unrivaled 13 Danhausen. Now, we didn't have a new shot of that figure but we did get to see Sting and Darby Allen, and this Sting's pretty plain, Jay, man. I'm not too interested in the Sting figure because it looks the same, but we're moving right along. Now, this right here is just sickening to me, man. This new Orange Cassidy right here, I will say, I do like... It does look like they added sculpt to the beard, and if they didn't add sculpt to the beard, they definitely colored it differently. Like, the head sculpt looks better here, but, I mean, we're looking at the same damn figure. It does have gold on the boots. It's got the new championship, like a brand new, you know, first time in the line title. The title size looks perfect stuff like that, but my god, man, I don't want to see this damn Orange Cassidy again. It's the third time we've seen this figure. The jacket's the exact same. The rubber pants are the exact same. It's a repainted figure the same. It's just the freaking thumbs up like button from Facebook, but it's the Orange Cassidy, which is a clever t-shirt idea, and it's a cool merchandise idea, but Jesus Christ, I'm so tired of them giving us the rubber legs for this figure, man. Series 8 was, was too far gone. That was forever ago. We need to get away from this, man. I've said this multiple times times, all you have to do is take this lower half and sculpt a brand new lower half that looks identical to this, except it has all the articulation. No hands in pockets. That way you can easily pop the orange Cassidy top part onto the pocket mold. If you want that figure in the pocket mold, put it on that lower half and then give us a fully articulated version for in match. You know, it, it, like if he's not going to be displayed, if you're doing figure photography, things like that, that's fine. But if you want to actually pose this guy around, have action figure matches, have you ever seen Orange Cassidy perform in the ring, Brad? He doesn't just have, like, he's not stiff as hell. And I've used this figure to pose around. It's impossible. It is impossible. I had to take an, I took two different Orange Cassidy's. I had to exacto knife the damn pants. I, this, this upsets me, man. We got to, and I know we saw it back at San Diego Comic Con, but seeing it here just in clear HD, full on, you know, I, I just, God, we need a new Orange Cassidy, man. He's one of my favorite talents, and I can't even pose a guy around. I want to pose a guy around. We've seen this mold three times. Let's get away from it here. Sorry about the rant. I just want to I, I just want to get that figure made, man. We also have MJF here. Now, he's got the, you know, the brown version of the strap here, which does look good in the zoomed-in shot. This is the Walmart exclusive MJF, and I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, like, this brown strap MJF and, like, the gold, I don't think they're just re-releasing this figure, and I don't, I could be tripping, but I don't think the Walmart exclusive MJF had that brown strap. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it did. If I'm wrong about that, somebody can let me know down in the comment section below, but I do believe this is the Target exclusive Adam Cole and the Walmart exclusive MJF, kind of, you know, insinuating the matchup and the feud going on here, and so that, there, there is that. We also had a look at the Sammy Guevara ringside exclusive. Now, I do believe the Danhausen and the Sammy Guevara are going to be hitting very soon, as well as the Wheeler Yuta. I do believe all three of those ringside exclusives are hitting very soon. This Sammy Guevara looks sick as hell. I love the purple and the black zebra stripe. I mean, he kind of looks like the Judgment Day a little bit. I could see somebody running that in the Fed, maybe. Maybe in a Fed or something, you go, go Sammy Guevara in the Judgment Day. I don't know why that kind of fits in my brain, too. I don't know. That just makes very much sense to me right now. But I think Sammy Guevara, you know, little Finn Balor action, you know, getting the, the zebra print with the purple and everything. It's kind of like that same jacket that Finn Balor wears. Fits in perfectly with the Judgment Day. But this figure looks great. Not the biggest Sammy Guevara fan, but the championships look good. The gear looks good. Probably the best Sammy Guevara we've seen so far from AEW and Jazz Wears. We also got to see the bunny here. And this bunny figure, man, yeah, I mean, they're like on their knees fighting right here with Anna Jay. It's a very weird pose a little bit here. But this angle of this figure's face right here looks so insane to me. I, this actually made me cackle out loud when I saw this. But 
I, I like the mask and everything like that. You can say what you want about the chases. I know that a lot of people were upset about the chase idea right now, and I'm sure they'll continue to be, man. I mean, I see both sides of it because, you know, like if this is a regular release, your, your Walmart or whoever would have this bunny figure on the shelf for three, four years. And then if you make it a chase, everybody's upset because they really want it, right? So I, I don't know. I, I see both sides of it. It's definitely tough. In a perfect world, obviously, we don't want it to be a chase figure. And we want everybody that actually wants the figure to be able to get the figure. But I don't know. You know, I'm not on the back end. I don't know the whole mathematics and the business side of it there. But I'm guessing they didn't want this figure sitting up there like Lance Archer and Nyla Roses and the FTRs and all these different figures that are shelf warming horrendously, which is why Series 7 of the Unrivaled Series is the worst series they've ever done. But this bunny here made me laugh. I thought it was funny, but I know a lot of people do want that figure. We also had a look at the Butcher and the Blade, man, and the Blade right here is the most plain Jane guy. I know we've said this quite a bit. I've said this multiple times on the channel, and I know it's kind of difficult, but he has the rubber black trench coat. He's got the face mask. I don't know. Does the face mask even come off? Oh, it's sculpted on there. Does he have an interchangeable head sculpt? I want to say he has an interchangeable head sculpt. I could be wrong about that, but this figure's eyes look very Dax Harwoody, Cash Wheeler style from, you know, their last few figures, the Series 7 figures. Plain Jane figure, dude. If this goes to retail, if this Blade figure goes to retail, it will be the worst shelf warmer of all time. If I had to make, if I had to bet some money on it, that would be my bet there. But I still think that he's toyetic in the sense of like, he, he works for a really good like bad guy or villain, like even if you're not a wrestling fan. But in this in this space, I think that figure is going to be a really tough sell. Even though I like the Butcher and Blade, it has nothing to do with that. And then you have the opposite of that with the Butcher. He's got all these tattoos and all this stuff going on, right? He's got the nice beard. He's got the nice, his hair is long. He's got all these tattoos going on. And we got a lot of shots of the tattoos. Tons of tattoo deco here. Boots look good. The gear looks good. He's got the damn meat cleavers on. He's got the butcher on there. All the tattoos. Guy's looking like a menace to society. I mean, he looks. they look like a biker gang, right? And I, I think that fits in perfectly there. Rubber leather jacket. I, <laughs> oh, you guys know how I feel about the rubber accessories here. But at least he's tattooed. He's, ta he's toyetic. I think these guys look pretty good. Even though I think the blade will be a terrible shelf warmer if these guys go to retail. I don't know if they're going to retail like I don't know what the whole deal is there but that is the butcher and the blade and the bunny of course but another figure that they showed off was the AEW like shop exclusive Jamie Hayter figure which actually looked pretty damn good man this figure right here looks crazy Liked all the colors going all around, and I actually, like I said, I was out of commission like all day that day, and I actually missed it. I did not get this figure, and it's like the only one that sold out, man. The Shop AW exclusives, you remember like the Chris Jericho and stuff, like when they first were coming out, they would sell out pretty damn quick like. Well, the last few Shop AW exclusives have been really easy to get, and I slept on this one, but I didn't know it was up. I would have grabbed it immediately, but I did not know that it was available. I didn't know it was up for purchase, and then boom, there it goes, so I actually missed out on this one and that makes me sick because I actually have every other Shop AEW. I have a double up. I'm doubled up on every Shop AEW exclusive and now I'm missing this one. So this makes me sick to my stomach, but uh, hopefully I can make up for that and end up grabbing it. But this is a really good one. I, I like the packaging. You know, these things are pretty sweet, man. I mean, I, I enjoy them. I know they're just repaints and all those different things, but I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully like, you know, Walmart exclusive Chris Jericho, Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston, like these different figures. Hopefully they will be hitting very soon and like we can get some of those things in and different stuff like that. I look forward to those reviews and getting those figures in there because I really enjoy posing around AEW figures and they're really great and you know I think they're like the highs are highs and the, the lows are very low so you know you just gotta kind of find that meat you know that middle ground and stuff like that but and the last thing here is I forgot to mention is there is this shot of this MJF in the gold trunks and I do believe this is the same figure we saw at San Diego Comic Con but they still haven't revealed exactly what this is gonna be so we will have to wait and see you know there's no there hasn't been any announcements or anything like that but we do have this like gold MJF looking figure right here but I think that is all the the, all the action figure, AEW action figure news, man. Again, it wasn't like a huge, crazy news day, but I did want to get on here and cover all this stuff because you guys know that I love action figure news and covering and talking about it. So I want to get on here and discuss the AEW figures and talk about everything, man. But if you guys have any questions or you want to talk about it down in the comment section below, I'd love to know what your thoughts are and where you stand on all these figures. Are you looking forward to them? Are you skipping them? You know, what are the cases? I know a lot of people have jumped out of the game here and like they're waiting for improvement and stuff, but we will have to see, man. But that is going to wrap up the AEW news video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to our patron exclusive members or our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Definitely appreciate their continued support of the channel. Always appreciate them as always, man. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on all these figure reveals. Are you feeling them or are you not, man? I would love to know down below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one. I'll see you next time and I'll catch you later. <laughs>